Allison here, and in today's FileMaker tutorial, we are going to learn about the fun you can have and the interesting information you can get by adding a web viewer to your layout. So let's get started. So I am looking at a contact detail screen, very basic, uh, with some information, uh, but there's some uh, links in the center here. We've got a link for a blog, and I'm just using Harvard Medical School as an example, uh, their Twitter account, their YouTube link, and their page on LinkedIn, and a uh, search, a directory search uh, link. And so now that you've seen all of uh, the links, I'm going to go ahead and reveal that we have a web viewer in play over here so that we can see live uh, what's going on on the Harvard Medical uh, Health blog. Uh, so you can see this was published uh, on the 20th of March of this year, and you can just get a feel for the kinds of things that are being spoken about. Um, you can totally interact with this. Uh, it'll load up. Uh, and then next, uh, we have Harvard Medical School on Twitter, if I center this up a little bit, I can scroll through all of the tweets that are going on there. And if I click onto the YouTube tab that I've created, here we have all of the videos. Um, we have a video from five days ago, a week ago, two weeks ago. Uh, we can scroll on them. Uh, we can uh, click on them, writing rhinos. That's always interesting. Oh my, I'll let you watch that on your own time. <laughs> and then we have LinkedIn. And you can see sort of the About Us, um, Career Insights, the alumni, where they work, uh, showcase pages, etc. And so I thought I would, uh, as a bonus, just go behind the scenes and add one more tab uh, and put a web viewer on it so that you have an idea of how this is put together behind the scenes. So I am going to go into layout mode. I'm going to double click on these tabs and I will add a tab for directory and I'll create it and say OK. And then I'm going to go to that tab and I'm going to cheat. I'm going to click on this web viewer. I shouldn't cheat. I will uh, show you the web viewer tool. Uh, which is just this button here, and uh, I will draw, it may not be the same size as the other one, but that's okay, here, and then when you draw it onto, it asks you what you want to uh, put in that web viewer, and there's all kinds of fun things that are preloaded, like Google Maps uh, for the different countries, MapQuest, Google Search, FedEx, Wiki, etc., but for this uh, purpose, we're going to use a custom web address, and we're going to click into this area and say specify. We don't want any of this, so we're going to get rid of it. And then uh, I'm going to start typing directory, which is the field that contains my directory link. And I'll choose OK. And uh, this is where you can do the settings, allow interaction with the web viewer content. So you can control, display the prog progress bar, uh, status mes med messages, and encoding. So you have uh, some say over the, uh, those options. So I'll say OK. And now when we go into uh, Exit Layout and we click on the Directory tab, lo and behold, we have a directory search. So if I were to search on uh, Muto and then just scroll over a little to click that search button, uh, there we have uh, Lisa Muto. And she's the executive dean for administration, and there is all her uh, information. So this is a quick tutorial and introduction to Web Viewer, and I think it's a fantastic way uh, to couple these kinds of things with a contact, so that you can keep up to date with uh, what they are doing on the internet. So if you found this useful or even inspirational, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.